Welcome back, editors. Today, I'm super excited to share my personal color grading style with you. I'll also show you step-by-step -step how to create your own unique color vibes for edits. In this detailed tutorial, we'll use CapCut and Wink to boost the quality and make your footage look amazing. So stick around till the end. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon on all so you never miss my future videos. First, add your clip according to the beat. Keep in mind that the clip you want to color grade should be a simple clip. No edits, no effects, and no transitions. It should be a raw clip synced to the beat. Export it simply. Open the Wink app, you can find it on my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. Select image quality. Then choose the clip you just exported. Make sure this clip has no effects. It should be completely raw. Wait a bit. You might not notice any difference immediately, but if you move to the beat, you'll see the effect. Select AI Repair. This will repair and improve the quality. Choose Basic. Then select the clip you just exported. Apply the same settings I'm using. Click Auto. You can compare before and after. Simply export it. Open CapCut. Delete the old clip and replace it with the new clip, synced accurately to the beat. You'll notice that AI repair may have increased the quality too much, which can make it look worse. That's why I'm replacing it with the previous version. This might happen to you too, so be careful. Always ensure the clip you use for editing is high quality. Otherwise, Wink will degrade it further, and color grading will not work properly. Go to Adjustments. Select Brightness and reduce it by minus 5. I reduced brightness because my clip was too bright. If your clip is darker, you can increase brightness. If it's brighter, reduce it. Increase other adjustments gradually. Do not overdo it, or the quality will deteriorate.
Apply these adjustments only to the intro part. The main scene is the original clip. Do not slow it down using Twixtor. The Twixtor clip already has good quality, so only minor adjustments are needed. Go to Filters. Select Clear 2. This enhances clarity. Keep it around 25 to 30 percent. Go to Filters. Select Silver. This adds black tone. Use the same filters I'm using and match the quality improvements exactly. You can experiment with filters on your own clips but do it gradually to understand their effect.
Go to Effects. Select Delicate Rays optional. This adds a white tone, making it look like an After Effects or Light Motion effect. Only use it if your clip is very dark night scene. Avoid using it on already bright clips, as it may look bad. with these settings. Do not select 2K or 4K, as YouTube Shorts compresses everything over 1080p. Thank you for watching.